Welcome back to The Bold Kitchen for our how-to basics and today we're going to show you how to cook eggs three ways. So we're going to start with your poached egg, this perfect scrambled egg and an easy fried egg as well. So to start off with we've got boiling water here, we've got our eggs set up, our pan set up for our fried egg and for our scrambled egg. But to start off with you've got boiling hot water, so when it starts boiling you're going to start off with two or three tablespoons of uh, white wine vinegar, apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar, Whatever you have vinegar wise at home will work, I just stay away from malt vinegar. So I'm going to put in two or three splashes of white wine vinegar in there. It's just going to help our eggs bind together when we put them in there. For our fried egg, I'm just going to put some oil in the pan, just to cover the bottom. And then we'll do scrambled eggs in a second. But the best tip I can give you for doing fried eggs is always cook them low and slow. There's no rush for fried eggs. When you put them at six on the gas mark and they're spitting everywhere, they're just going to go crispy and not going to cook correctly. So I've left mine on two, so electrical cookers at home on two. I'm just going to start with one cracked egg on a flat top. Never go on the edges, a lot of people do do it, but I go on a flat top because it stops the eggshell going inside the egg. So flat work top, push your thumbs in, just open your shells up like that. With my poached egg, I'm just going to start spinning my water slowly with the spoon, not too much. And again, on the flat surface, crack my egg, break the shell apart. Let it drop in there. We're going to do two in there. And again, right to the edge. So the momentum from the water spinning is going to help the shape as well. And then turn it down from a full boil down to a five or a six or a medium simmer. Just let the eggs cook nicely. Give them another little swell. And you can see our fried egg is nearly done. I'm just going to tip the, water, the oil back and forth and you're going to cook the top of the egg yolk. And then while that's going, I've got one level butter for my scrambled egg. I'm just going to put that straight into there. While that's melting down, I'm just going to crack my other three eggs into my bowl. One, two, three. And I don't season my egg mix. I'm just going to, with my whisk, break my egg, my egg yolks. Then I'm going to whisk them. When it's nearly all gone, all melted down, you put in your egg mix into there and you'll season your egg, your scrambled egg last. Any salt or pepper will change the colour of the eggs while it's cooking. Just going to take my fried egg out now. Just want to make sure your egg, your oil covers your egg yolk to cook the egg yolk. Nobody wants to snot the egg. I just swirl my pan round. Just be careful when you do it. You can see the egg yolk starting to change colour. Once the scum has gone around the outsides, you've got that lovely layer. See your perfect egg. It's still nice and runny in the morning in the middle. Oh, okay. And all I do now is you season the fried egg last. So you put your pepper on top and a little bit of salt. That's the correct time to season a fried egg. Then our pan here with the butter. We're gonna push our scrambled egg mix straight into there. Get your whole mix in there. And start working with a wooden spatula. Just keep your eggs moving at all times. Stops it from lumping together. If it cooks too quick, you can take it off the heat and work it. And then when you're comfortable, put it back onto the heat again. While that's cooking away, we're just gonna check our poached eggs. Do them nice and runny. Right, there's our poached egg perfect there. You want like a little spring, so you know it's still soft in the middle. Take that out, rest that to the side. Same again with the other one, that is another second. Same way as a fried egg, you'll season the outside of it. You've got the vinegar in the water as well. So just move that to the the meat. Just keep it moving at all times. Depending on how you like your scrambled eggs. I'd eat mine like this just about now with the French way, it's a little bit more loose, not as overcooked. Just keep it working. If you want to put longer back onto the heat again, keep your eggs mixing, keep it mixing at all times, it'll stop it from lumping together. Put it back on there for a second. I'm going to take up another poached egg from here. So we've got two lovely soft poached eggs. And again, onto our plate here. Season the top. 
The reason you can't season it is it's in water, so you season it after. Same with a fried egg, then with your scrambled egg. Before you're about to serve, I am now. I put my salt and pepper in last, because you put the salt in now, it breaks down the egg, and the pepper makes the mix go grey as well. So before you serve, a little bit of salt. Don't go too crazy unless you use unsalted butter, and then with some black pepper as well. Mix mine up. It's still quite runny, it's how I like it. Anything over that, you can carry on cooking. Nice, runny, creamy scrambled egg as well. So we've got our poached eggs, our fried egg, and our lovely scrambled egg. That is three ways to cook an egg, fried, poached, and scrambled. Let me know below if that helped you out at home, and any other how to basics you'd like to see us try for you guys at home.